thing a customer has ever said to you. A guy came up to the register and ordered a cheeseburger. You can't mess that up right. Well I take his money give him his change and a minute later his cheeseburger. A few seconds after I hand him the cheeseburger he looks at me and goes. You stupid inbreed piece of shit I wanted a Big Mac. I was 16 at the time and was horrified that a grown man would shout at a freaking kid over something. That was not my fault. My manager came over and ripped this guy a new one for being so stupid. When I worked in a call center doing tech support. 1. Go fuck yourself. 2. So you close in a few minutes? Me. Yes. We do how. Do you get home? Me. I take the train while well, I'm going to keep you on the phone until you miss your train. They failed. I worked as a pharmacy tech in college, dispensing drugs to every kind of person imaginable, and some of those people were not very nice. A very large percentage of people didn't understand their insurance plan, or how deductibles work, and that makes them surprisingly angry. One gentleman whose deductible had not yet been met, had been given a prescription for a more expensive antibiotic and the patient cost was over $300. Seeing the price, rather than ask why it was so expensive, he went off on a tirade of anger. He yelled that he was going to wait for me and rape me in the parking lot that night, that he was going to find out where I was living and rape me in my home. I was so upset and the pharmacist just stood in the back of the pharmacy hiding and didn't say anything to this guy. No one at the store did anything at all. Actually, after realizing that the guy was indeed sitting in the parking lot nearly an hour later, I called the cops on him and reported his threats to them. He was removed from the property, but it was a huge scene. I ended up getting written up for calling the cops on this guy by the manager of the pharmacy. I transferred to a new store after that. This guy was trying to get insurance information from his ex-wife over the phone. I was new to the pharmacy and didn't realize I could get it off of her profile. She, not realizing she's on speakerphone said, what kind of fucking idiots do they have working there? Everybody in the store heard her say it. The guy saw how embarrassed I was, looked at me saying, that's why she's my ex-wife. I worked in retail and would often get shoplifters, but we couldn't do much other than follow them around, and if we saw them put something in their purse slash bag slash pocket offer to place that item at the cash register for them, we technically couldn't accuse them of shoplifting, because if they dropped the item and no longer had it, they could sue the company for false accusations. Really messed up considering it was a Fortune 500 lingerie company. Anyhow one day I came out from the back and walked into a situation where a frequent shoplifter was having a standoff with my boss. Accused my boss of being racist and then threw cookies at her. Yes, cookies. It was the most ridiculous thing I'd ever witnessed other than the time I caught a man shoving about 8 bottles of perfume down his pants. Excuse me, sir, can I offer you a shopping toad for those perfumes? I see they must be your favorite. Can I interest you in our store card? Yeah, I don't miss that job. There was a big line at my work and only two of us working. So I ended up being the only one on cash with a huge line. I was going fairly quickly and still being cheerful, so I thought I was doing fine. Then this woman about to customers back says, loudly, this retarded girl shouldn't be allowed to be on till alone if she is going to be that slow. Also she said this to her 8 year old daughter. Kinko's during university, late night shift, wound up, middle aged academic type storms up to the counter, ignoring those in line, and slaps his folder down, and says I need 50 copies of this, bound, helpful counter girl, sweetest girl ever, really, says well sir, there is a line, but if you'd like I'll put it in the queue, should be ready for 8am tomorrow. Dude flips and starts screaming, why the fuck would I want them at 8am, I need them now, isn't that what you fucking do here, there's 3 of you just standing around, actually we were running hundreds of copy jobs all night, my manager A, comes out what seems to be the trouble sir, Ray is a big guy, former punk rocker, working night shift to make ends meet, full sleeve tattoos, pretty intimidating, nicest guy ever, actually, I need the copies done now, and these fucking idiots are just standing there. What's your name? I want to speak to the fucking manager. Now that doesn't all. So people in the shop are staring. Ray, in a perfectly calm voice says. 
sir, I'm the manager, and my name is fuck you. Here, I'll write it down for you. Grabs his card, and writes fuck you in huge letters on it. Now you call head office in the morning, and tell them fuck you said you were a disrespectful obnoxious shit who had to be thrown out of the shop, because he didn't have any fucking manners. He picks up the guy's folder from the counter, and shoves it into his chest. Now get the fuck out of my shop, and don't come back, or the next time I see you will be in a courtroom, understand me? He stood there stunned for a few seconds, and then the sweet counter girl goes he said get the fuck out of here. He turned and without a word stormed out. Never saw him again. What a dick. I used to work at Best Buy, and my first week on the job we were getting ready close up, and every other cashier decided it was time to go dick off, so I'm stuck with a line of at least 6 deep. A couple walks up with a TV, PS3, several games etc. Obviously the total was a couple thousand. Tell them the price let's say 2000 bucks. They proceed to sit there and try to haggle with me then the wife, who had to be 60, called me a shit stain on society among other things. I guess she thought I set the prices. My rule as a customer. When another customer is rude, I defend the clerk vehemently. Clerks worry about their jobs. Customer is always right and crap like that, and are therefore easy victims for bully customers. I do not have that restriction, and I'm happy to say what the clerk would, if he or she could. Let's all make the world a better place. I worked as a customer service rep at a cell phone company in college, and would hear terrible things all the time. But, the worst would have to be, when I heard a man literally almost beat his wife to death. She was the account owner, and had not authorized him to access it. They must have been having a pretty heated argument already, because he was calling in to disconnect her line. She wouldn't give authorization so, in response, he began to beat her. It was the most awful thing I have ever heard. I could hear each time he made contact and the sounds she made still haunt me when I think about them. I hit trace on my phone, muted and waved my supervisor over. She and I were able to get the police to their home in a matter of minutes, but it felt like an eternity because there was nothing I could do except wait. The police finally arrive and contain him. I hear the paramedics asking her questions, but I don't hear any responses. Against my choice, I had to hang up, note the account, and move on with my shift, but I couldn't stop thinking about her. I spent the next month thinking about her, hoping that she was fine, before I finally accepted the fact I would never know. But, one day when I came into work, I had a letter on my desk. The letter was from her. I don't even know how to explain how relieved I felt seeing her name as the return address. She wrote about how she was in the hospital for two weeks from her injuries. She is happily in the process of divorce and the husband is now in jail. She had called in, after getting home to try, and find the girl, that saved her life. I'm glad we were required to note every account or my name would have been lost, and I would probably still be wondering years later. I used to work at the infamous Ponderosa Buffet as a line cook. Fun fact, you can actually order meals there other than buffet, please. So with these so called meals, you get choice of side, either french fries, or baked potatoes. One day we got slammed with business and completely ran out of baked potatoes, and had some in the oven starting to cook. In walks the customer. He stands at an ample 6 feet 4. He's a white man, clad in denim and full of beefy desire in his heart. His mustache, thicker than Sam Elliott's. This is an American man made by and for his time. His lips part, and out come the words, buffet and a ribby. The host begins to speak, but is shut down. With a baked potato. We currently are all out of potato. We can offer you. The man's face turns a shade of fuchsia not even Crayola could name. His eyes bulge, his lips tighten. The air blowing in, and out of his mouth, creates a rippling tornado of absolute fury around him. No potatoes. We know potatoes. He moves faster than any one of his girth should, and ever has since. He pokes his angry face back into the kitchen. No potatoes. What's going on at Ponderosa? No potatoes. You should be fired, he proclaimed, waving a finger at me. His family had to pull him back to the front desk, him still hollering. He accepted the sad terms we had to give him. French fries. The kitchen was on the other side of the wall from the buffet line. So I walked around to see him eating his steak. 
he just ate it with pure spite. I've never seen anyone mow on a buttered well cooked steak with just pure hatred. He didn't even enjoy the buffet. He just sighed when he had to pick up the tongs slash spoon slash ladle like it wasn't enough. There will always be a baked potato shaped hole in that fat man's heart. I used to work at a cigar shop in Manhattan's financial district. The shop is family owned, and I usually made small talk with the customers. One day a customer and I were having a conversation about cigars, their quality, whether tobacco is grown, etc, when he says wow, you're pretty smart for a Hispanic. I work at Zellers as a cashier. One day a few months back I have this lady come through my till. She sounded Russian, and so I rang her through when she started complaining about a can of Heinz beans. I told her that the price was correct, and she argued. I remained calm and then wham. Next thing I know I wake up in the first aid room. Apparently. She was so upset she had pitched the can at my head and hit me hard enough to knock me out. I have a very husky voice, and one day, when I was working in a petrol station this dirty old man said to me ooh, that sounds sore. I have something you can suck on. I was a baby faced 19 at the time, so I told him I was 15. I've never seen anyone turn pale and run away so quickly before. I worked at the paint department at Lowe's, and one time an older black couple said I was making them wait because they were black, even though they were behind three people I was helping. I asked them how could they possible think that, and they said, your ears turned red when you talk to us. That's how we know you're racist. WTF. I've collected some pretty fucked up stories, but as far as offensive. I was working my store service desk when this dirty, literally dirty, old guy walks up with some opened light bulbs. He's muttering to himself for a minute or so, before telling me that he wants to return them. Naturally, he has no receipt. Now, we are not supposed to do anything with open bulbs, but I told him that he could replace them if he wanted. He told me our return policy was communism, before taking the bulbs and shambling away, muttering to himself. I honestly didn't think he'd come back. About an hour later, he comes back with the bulbs and a half dozen cans of cat food off the shelves. He scowled at me, and asked if what he had was good enough. I told him that, again, all I could do, was replace the bulbs. He yelled, well, you can keep the son of a bitch and stick it up your ass, and proceeded to throw all of the items at me. I've been called a lot of things, and had various items thrown at me, but this is still the only time I've been told to stick stuff up my ass. He missed, by the way. My first job was as a waitress, and I had a particularly surly old man one day that spent the duration of his meal insulting me, asked me to turn around for him, criticized the way I styled my hair and overall just gave me a hard time about every little thing. He left without giving me much of a tip, even though I tried my best to remain polite and professional. The lady sitting at the table beside me noticed how rude he was, and went out of her way to compliment me, and left me a $20 tip on a $40 bill. It was probably my first real life encounter, when I realized that despite the grumps in the world, there are people out there that show genuine sincerity and kindness to strangers.